show you our pre-setable counter trainer kit order code is 38639 so this is the trainer kit this is the pre-setable counter ic4018 this is timer ic555 there are two NAND gates ic ic4011 and ic4011 these are two NAND gate ic's these are the spdt switch these are the leds to indicate the output status there are this is the there, this is 10 volt dc power supply internally built and this is to this switch is to select the frequency for 1 hertz or 1 kilohertz this is the main switch to turn on or off the kit this is user manual and patch con these all are included in this kit and to do this experiment we will need a dso so First our object is to study beginning of counting for a preset initial number and for this we will follow this procedure. First we will make this following settings on the training board. So first select your frequency to 1 hertz, preload enable to 1, reset to 1 and select this switch S1 to S5 to 1 position. This is this switch are in on position. Now switch on the power supply and put this reset to 0. Now using a multimeter check the voltage for X4 to X8 socket. you can see that the voltage is 0 this is because with preload enable at 1 and uh, this switch uh, are at 1 data so 1 is transferred to output and complement of 1 is 0 so this data is present at sockets and uh, changing S1 S5 position and for this we are getting 0 voltage as a output. Now, change this preload to 0 and see that the counting starts. You can see here this counter is now connected for divide by 2 function by shorting x4 and x13. Now you can see within two blinking of LD only once LED L0 will be blink sorry will blink. Now stop the counter by putting reset to 1 and short x5 to x13 this is divide by 4 mode. So now observe the blinking of LD and here this LED of this LED. Now short X6 to X13 and observe the blinking of LD and this LEDs. Similarly, we can short also x13 to x9 this will be divided by 3 mode now start the counting similarly short x10 x11 and x12 1 by 1 to observe divide by 3 divide by 5 divide by 7 and divide by 9 mode respectively Now, put frequency switch to 1 kilohertz and observe the clock frequency at x1.
you can see this is the output waveform. Now, can short x 4 to x 13 and see the output waveform of x 13 at the second channel of CRO. Now, change x 4 to x 5 and you can observe the output waveform, how it is changing. from x 4 to x 12 and also remember to keep the recent button switch at 0 position when observing the output on CRO.